and I hope that this can also inspire you to just like broaden your revenue streams, income streams, and try to just have more sources of income so you can just depend on it more. So as promised, I wanted to make this my many streams, 13 streams of income video, and so I will break down all my income streams and for like personal safety reasons, I do not want to reveal how much I make from each stream because I don't want, you know, bad people to to look at me as like a high net worth person and like target me and try to scam my money and things like that because honestly, like safety is first. So I hope you guys understand, but I am going to break down how how many ways like the many ways that I make money. And so number one is from my main job and a lot of people are like, uh, how do I differentiate between like a main hustle and a side hustle? How I differentiate it is your main hustle should be able to pay for all your bills and it should be very stable. It should be like, um, what do you call it? Like stable, reliable, and you spend the most time. And for me, it happens to be my corporate job. And uh, that is my number one source of income. Number two is definitely YouTube. So you're watching me right now and from YouTube, YouTube, there's ad revenue and even though it's not very reliable or uh, dependable it is still money uh, income coming in and it really varies it really varies on your views and as you know like YouTube income is really about views than about anything else and so YouTube views the more views you get the probably the more income you get. And so other than YouTube, there's also number three, which is Robinhood Dividend. Robinhood Dividend is basically the dividend that my stocks pay me and Robinhood is a commission fl <laughs> Robinhood is a commission-free platform where you can buy individual stocks. So let's say you really like using Facebook and you're like, oh, let me invest in Facebook. So Robinhood makes it super easy for you to invest in Facebook and you can buy it per share. So you can buy like a share of Facebook, a share of Google, a share of, I don't know, whatever, like Tesla, other companies that you're interested in. And so this is a really good way for you to easily invest in companies that you're interested in and especially in the companies uh, in which your services you use very often then you know the company very well naturally and my fourth stream of income is my savings interest and so I really strongly recommend you to get a savings account with high interest rate the one I have right now is above 2% which is like a norm for a high interest rate savings account the savings account I had before was from Bank of America and it had like less than I don't know less than 1% or something ridiculously low. And so I highly strongly suggest you to get a bank account with high interest rate and that is my fourth stream of income. And the bank I use is Discover, not pay by them, but I just like using them because they give me a pretty high interest rate. And I know there are better rates out there, but I'm just like too lazy to get those like with 0.001 like more interest rate. And so that's my fourth stream of income. My fifth stream of income is bank bonuses. So I also talk about this in my free money videos. Bank bonuses, it is pretty substantial when you do it often because each time is like $200, $300, $400 and it really adds up. You can easily get like $1,000 from just opening new accounts. And unlike opening credit cards, this does not pull up your credit score so you don't have to worry about, you know, having a low credit score because of banks checking your credit score because having a savings account or checking account, it has nothing to do with your credit score. It's not like having a credit card. And so um, the the bonuses that I got are from uh, Discover, Discover Savings Account and Chase Savings and Checking Account. I believe this offer they still have. And then there is also the Wells Fargo. Uh, I believe that is the checking, is it? It's probably the checking account. There's also the Capital One Money Market 360. Uh, that is, it's kind of, I don't even know if it's like a checking or savings, but it is just an account where you put your money in. And then there is also card referral bonuses. So if you refer a credit card, let's say Amex Gold Card or Amex Platinum Card, you get certain uh, card referral bonuses. And so I also strongly, strongly recommend you to take advantage of this because you can easily, easily get your so-called um, annual fee waived because each time you refer a card that gives you a substantial amount of bonuses 
probably in the form of points, but points can easily be transferred to cover your um, spending. So it just works out. And number seven is Amazon affiliate. And so you probably know a lot of YouTubers and bloggers, they have those Amazon links and those Amazon links are Amazon affiliate links. And so when you click into those links and you buy products, you usually will um, get a certain percentage of commission that gets paid to the YouTuber or blogger or whoever owns that link. And uh, what's good about this is that even if you don't buy that product, like the product itself that the blogger or YouTuber is linking to, even if you just click into it and you buy something else in your cart or you click into it and you forget about it and within 24 hours you buy something from Amazon or that website, then the blogger or YouTuber gets paid. So it doesn't have to be that specific item. You just have to click into the link. You don't have to pay anything additional, by the way. You just click into the link and then within 24 hours you buy anything from that same website, then the blogger or YouTuber will get paid. And number eight is for my side projects such as video editing or photography and so these two are just two of the side projects that I do as like just for fun and also for money as like side hustles. Number nine is investment gains and I can talk about this more in depth because I feel like there is a lot more to this but um there is Robinhood investment gains, there is 401k, there is Roth IRA and there is also my rollover IRA for my previous company. So I can talk about these in detail if you guys are interested. Number 10 is Audible. So you probably know a lot of other YouTubers, they have those Audible links. So if you click into it, you get two audiobooks for free and the YouTuber or blogger or whoever gives you those links, that person also gets a certain um, amount of money. I believe it's like $15 per successful register. And so if you want to support my channel, be sure to use the Audible link in my info box so you can help support my channel without paying anything out of pocket because you can just cancel your membership before it charges you. And 11 is from selling my belongings on like Facebook Marketplace or just selling it in general, selling bags, selling the clothes that I own. And so this is the 11th source of income. 12 is from Teespring. As you may know, I do have a t-shirt line and it's called Live Your Ideal Life Right Now. I strongly, strongly believe in this. I believe that you should always just repeat this mantra to yourself over and over again and reevaluate your life. Are you living your ideal life right now? If yes, then that's good. But most of the time, we we know we're not living our ideal life. And then so we have to think to ourselves, how do we live our ideal life? What are the things that I can do so that I can live my ideal life? What are the things or people that I have to get rid of for me to live my ideal life? So I believe this is so, 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 so crucial. And um, it, even if you don't buy my t-shirt, like honestly, just keep this in the back of your mind. But I made t-shirts with that theme because it's just something that I really strongly believe in and I just want to share this with other people and this is like a constant reminder that you should live your ideal life at all times. And 13 is New Skin. So New Skin is a brand, a website, a brand that creates a lot of machines and also just skincare related things and also healthcare related things. And I really like using their Lumi Spa, the machine. And so that's why I registered to be their like distributor. I think that's the word they use it. But honestly, I did not get into this with the means of like trying to make money. I got into this because I used their product. I was a customer at first and I was a customer for like three months until I decided to join as their affiliate and so I am not trying to like promote this and be like oh you should make money like this but I'm just sharing all these like revenue sources, income sources, how I make money, my 13 ways to make money. But other than the 13 revenue streams, I am also looking into more revenue streams. One is live streaming. Live streaming is a revenue stream that I used to have and uh, how it works is that I live stream and then people send virtual gifts that turn into the points in the app or in the system on the platform and it can in turn turn into revenue. I stopped doing that because it is very time consuming but this is still a really valid and pretty lucrative space that people can explore. I just stopped doing that because I do have a full-time job and I am doing YouTube as pretty much another full-time thing because I upload every single day, so I edit every single day and I produce a lot of content and this is just very time-consuming. Um, Money-wise, live streaming is actually more lucrative because I guess the nature of it is just 
more lucrative and YouTube is actually not very lucrative until you become big, until you get like millions of views. And so when you are really thinking about making money, I would say live streaming is the way to go. YouTube not so much because it takes a long time to build your channel and it is not guaranteed whether or not you will have a sustainable income from YouTube. And another thing that I used to do is work with brands with their services and products and these are the so-called sponsor videos. And I know a lot of YouTubers do this but lately I've been really um, stopping with that just because it's actually quite difficult and time consuming to find a product and service that you're actually very happy about. And so that's why I stopped working with brands with their products and services. But if I do run into a product and service that I actually enjoy using, I will consider doing a sponsored video. And also since I'm trying to grow my channel, I felt that having like a lot of sponsored videos can prevent me from growing my channel because there is the I guess the whole sell out notion and it, it just it's not a very good rep and so I'm trying to just uh, keep it low key and have less like little to no sponsored videos so I can build my channel and I can be more uh, genuine but no matter what even if I take on sponsored videos in the future those will be my true true opinion honest opinion I will never ever rave about a product that I am not satisfied with and so you can be completely sure about that I'm just a very uh open book like I don't like to hide things I don't like to deceive my viewers and I don't want to ruin my own reputation so these two are the revenue streams I used to have but stopped doing I hope these would help you and I hope you have a wonderful day or night I also have a lot of money saving hacks and tips in my info box be sure to check those out and I will see you in my next video bye